Nikola Tesla Historical Society of Alberta presents The Scientist Who Promoted Renewable Energy Over a Hundred Years Ago. Prepared for the Science Literacy Week, September 20th to 26th, 2021, on climate change. Who, you might ask, could this scientist and very early clean energy pioneer possibly be? Read on for a few clues. If you guessed the scientist was Nikola Tesla, you are absolutely right. He thought of renewable energy, cosmic energy, energy from the ionosphere, wind energy, solar energy, remote endless energy, geothermal and hydrothermal energies. Tesla inspired renewable energy. Some of his visionary ideas and experiments have now become reality, while others are still being investigated. His ideas for solar, wind, hydroelectric, geothermal, and wireless energies are being implemented with success. Tesla's long essay about renewable energy was first printed in a magazine in 1900 called The Century. It had the largest national circulation. Indigo Books now describes it as a starting point for understanding global warming. Looking at Tesla's renewable energy from the sun. Renewable energy pioneer. According to author Dick Munson, Tesla's clean energy leadership began with the launch of that 1900 article in the century. It had a special reference to the harnessing of the sun's energy, which made it one of the earliest detailed looks at capturing power from the sun and the wind. Solar, radiant, and cosmic energy. Tesla believed that the sun's rays falling upon the Earth's surface represent a quantity of energy so enormous that but a small part of it could meet all our demands. The energy of light rays constituting about 10% of the total radiation might be captured by a cold and highly efficient process in photoelectric cells, which may become on this account of practical importance in the future. Diagram of Tesla's first radiant energy receiver. Fundamentally, this has been described as an early version of a solar energy panel. Tesla also favored wind generated energy. In Tesla's words, since time immemorial, man has had at his disposal a fairly good machine which has enabled him to utilize the energy of the ambient medium. This machine is the windmill. The US Department of Energy estimates that 20% of the electricity in the United States could be provided from wind energy with the existing transmission infrastructure. That's more than nuclear energy and about the equivalent of natural gas. Hydrothermal energy. In 1931, Tesla studied the temperature differentials of the deep seas for power with the idea that a warmer level in one layer could be brought into contact with the cold from another to operate power plants. The theory was to use a device called a cryophorus. The cryophorus was two large glass bulbs connected by a glass tube. The bulbs were partially filled with liquid with one of them set in ice, which is evaporated in one and condensed in the other. He believed the system could generate a massive amount of power. Diagram of a simple cryophorus. Tesla played with the notion of inserting a turbine between the two bulbs and connecting them to a generator to produce steam power. Geothermal energy. According to the Geothermal Energy Association, only 6.5% of global potential has been tapped. With geothermal power plants, greenhouse gas emissions of CO2 are less than 5% of conventional coal-fueled plants. There are presently numerous fruit and vegetable operations in Southern California relying on geothermal energy from around the San Andreas Fault. Just as he believed with hydrothermal energy, Tesla also believed the temperature differentials in the earth could also be utilized by sinking small diameter holes to shallow depths. 
By this time, however, he was 75 years old and without funds or a laboratory to conduct more experiments, he hoped that developing and exploring this technology should be left to other scientists in the future. How geothermal energy works. Hot water that is trapped inside the earth is turned into steam where it moves along pipes connected to a turbine which spins from the steam and powers a generator to produce clean energy. The steam condenses in a cooling chamber and is returned back into the ground where it becomes water and the cycle repeats. This present day process also resembles Tesla's ideas for extracting renewable hydrothermal energy. Hydroelectric power. This is the most commonly used renewable source of energy and represents about 16% of total electricity production. Tesla was the scientist and inventor who harnessed the power of Niagara Falls in 1896, supplying steady and carbon-free energy. Another possibility, static electricity energy. Tesla had an early introduction into this phenomenon when he was petting a cat as a boy and was fascinated by the electric charge or static electricity that sparked from the cat's fur. There are now studies on possible ways to gather static electricity for energy. Tesla's experiments to generate free world energy in 1901, with funding from the industrialist J.P. Morgan, Tesla built his Wardenclyffe lab with the prominent Tesla Tower, which stood 185 feet and had a 65-foot copper dome transmitter on the top. He believed he could use the tower to transmit signals and with numerous such structures around the world, be able to provide free, unlimited wireless electricity around the globe. Wireless energy. This is one of Tesla's best known and greatest achievements that he was, however, unable to complete due to later funding problems. His vision to create a world wireless system at Wardenclyffe was cut short and never entirely proven. Still, his pioneering efforts have underpinned today's wireless technologies like mobile phones, smart watches, and drones, to name a few all of which have minimal impact on the environment and maximum impact for modern convenience. What was it that prompted Tesla to be so far ahead of his time? By the late 1880s, coal was heavily used to generate electricity for industry and homes. Tesla was concerned about the environmental effects of coal and the human toll it took to work in the mines, saying that the process is wasteful and barbarous, especially when burning coal, the mining of which, despite of modern improvements, still involves dangers to the unfortunates who are condemned to toil deep in the bowels of the earth. He believed energy from gas was superior to coal and oil, but nonetheless worried about forests and fossil fuels being a finite supply. His life's dream was to discover sources of renewable energy that would be so abundant as to be universally free of cost to the global population. A genuine futurist. Two prescient quotes from Tesla. Whatever our resources of primary energy may be in the future, we must, to be rational, obtain it without consumption of any material. 1900. The pollution of our beaches, such as exists today around New York City, will seem as unthinkable to our children and grandchildren as life without plumbing seems to us. 1935. A prescient prediction. Tesla predicted that by 2035, there would be an agency established for the protection of the environment and culture. In 1970, when the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency came to be, it seemed to fulfill his prophecy. Conclusion. In his book, Tesla, Inventor of the Modern, Dick Munson notes that as the world faces major challenges such as climate change, Tesla remains particularly relevant. Tesla epitomized inventive spirit and the world needs inventors like him who are willing and able to see the world differently.